When I was young, it used to rain and this area looked green. There was a lot of livestock here and this area looked very nice. I felt happy when there was rain. When I see that there was rain coming, I felt very happy. Now the area looks degraded. It's not like before. The people who are around here, they don't feel happy about it. And we just pray to God that it will change and look like how it used to. Talasso lives in northern Kenya. A terrible drought in this part of East Africa has killed livestock and left 20 million people struggling to survive. This is part of a world food crisis. Food prices are soaring, not only due to drought made worse by climate change, but also the COVID pandemic, war in Ukraine, and a global food system that doesn't support the poorest people. Talasso is most concerned about her children, three-year-old Abudo and baby Ali. When I gave birth to Abudo, it was not as difficult as this. The few livestock we had were healthy. You had milk, you had meat. But now, since I gave birth to Ali, the situation is really difficult. The area is degraded, so there are no livestock. So it's a very difficult situation now compared to when Abudo was born. Even before, our herd of livestock was not as large as many people's. We were struggling to put food on the table. But nowadays, even the few livestock we had are gone. Now we're really struggling to put food on the table. But Talasa is also worried that baby Ali may not be able to go to school when he is older, as drought could make this impossible. It's very difficult to balance between providing food and water and paying school fees. Because getting the food and water is expensive and you need school fees to send children to school, so this is a very difficult situation. In the next village, Galgalu, whose family has lost almost all of their livestock and income, is also most concerned about education. It is very difficult currently to take our children to school. I already have two in school, but because our livestock have died, you can see some children around here that we want to take to school, and we're asking how do we get these others into school. Because so many animals have died, some local people think their traditional way of life Pastoralism is now over. Gal Gallo explains what this means. Since the drought intensity has been increasing for the last 10 years, people are slowly abandoning pastoralism. The way you move from one place to another in search of pasture, moving with your livestock is no longer there. Now we stay in one place and pray to God that the situation changes. All Gal Gallo's hope is now in educating his children. Education is good. I have seen how education is important for people who have gone to school and then get opportunities. I have seen that education really is very important. That's why, with your help, CAFOD is providing emergency food to schools so that families don't have to pay school fees. CAFOD is part of Caritas one of the biggest humanitarian organisations in the world. This means CAFOD was already there with local communities in East Africa before the current crisis. Two years ago, CAFOD helped Talasso's village to prepare a pond to gather rainwater. This reduced the impact of the drought for a few weeks. Now, during the crisis, as well as providing food for schools, CAFOD is supporting Talasso and Gal Galo's communities with emergency food and water And after the crisis, CAFOD will still be there, helping villagers like Gal Gallows to install water tanks filled from local boreholes to withstand future droughts. With CAFOD, you too are already there in any emergency around the world. And your fundraising makes a real difference.